it's 6 a.m. I'm gonna go for a run. So I'm finishing up the vlog for tomorrow and I think I figured out a way to keep the vlog sustainable but also like keep it basically almost every day. I think I'm gonna upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and then basically not do anything on the weekends. That doesn't mean I won't shoot on the weekends, it just means I won't upload anything on, on the weekends. It's the only way that I can think to have some kind of consistency and also not lose my mind. Let's talk about bottom heads. Now, talking about drum heads isn't particularly a sexy topic, and talking about bottom drum heads is even less of a appealing topic to talk about, but it is important. And it's something I think gets overlooked a lot, and a lot of times I think we, myself included, forget to change the bottom heads as often as we should, and when we do change them, it's oftentimes not nearly as frequent as it, as it should be. That old saying, out of sight, out of mind, I think it applies to bottom drum heads too. So the function of a bottom drum head is to get resonance and the tone of the drum. When you hit a drum, air is passed from the top head down to the bottom head, causing it to vibrate and reverberate, giving you the sound of whatever drum you're hitting. And because of that, bottom heads are always thinner. Now one of the downsides to them being thinner is they, they die a lot faster than, than a top head does. Because as you may know, top heads are often two different plies, sometimes more, and they're, they're, the mylar is a lot thicker on top. It has to withstand more abuse with you hitting the drums with the drumsticks. A couple years ago, I was talking to a friend and I was basically just venting and complaining that my bottom heads were already dead after just replacing them what seemed like a couple of months ago. And he told me something that he does that I, I tried out and I've been doing ever since. And it saved me a ton of money in, in the process. And this is going to be specifically for toms. Bottom snare heads are just always going to have to be thin. But for toms, instead of buying heads that are specifically made to be rezo heads, the suggestion was to buy single ply top heads and put them on the bottom. So for me, what I do is I buy clear Remo Ambassador heads and put them on the bottom. And the thought process behind that is it's still a single ply head, so it's still thin, but it's a little bit thicker than the dedicated rezo head that comes with it. And because of that thickness, it makes the longevity of the rezo head a lot longer. So now, instead of a Rezo head lasting six months, it can last you a year plus. The heads that I have over there on that drum set, I honestly haven't changed them in a year and a half, and they still sound great, they still carry a tone. I've changed the top heads twice, I think, but the bottom heads have stayed the same because they're thicker and they just, they hold their tone, and they don't expire as often as the thinner heads that you're supposed to get for, for your toms. That's basically it. I just wanted to share that little nugget that, that I, I've tried and it's worked for me. If you guys want to check out the drum heads that I buy, they'll be linked down below. I'm always looking for things to save me money and things that I'll get more mileage out of, and this is just one of those things that has done both for me. Alright!